how many six digit numbers can be formed without repeating any digit from the digits 0 1 2 3 4 5 once again problem is related to permutations and no repetition is allowed so it's about permutations and no repetition this is my way of remembering the formula related to the problem like this so we need to find how many six digit numbers can be found without repeating any digits it seems very easy the given numbers are 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 so it seems very easy and at first look I was trying to solve it like that that okay there's uh, the number of digits given to me 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so n equals 6 and r is also equal to 6 because they told us to find six digit numbers it means the size of the permutation is 6 so I thought I can just calculate 6p 6 but no I was missing something because just on a second thought I thought no maybe I am missing something so let me tell you about that that what is wrong with this approach so let's take a simpler example and we understand that what we have to be careful for example I give you two numbers 0 and 5 and I tell you that how many two digit numbers can you make out of these two given two digits and of course you can't repeat any digit so if you think like that you uh, because this is a simpler example so don't go to the formula and let's make ourselves manually all the formula so because there are two so one combination can be 0 and 5 another can be 5 and 0 so okay we can make two permutations right or two two digit numbers but no no if you think or if you are familiar with our numbering system this is not a two digit number it is a single digit number five even if there is a zero it has no meaning in our numbering system a zero on the left side of a digit has no meaning and actually it is a first a one digit number not a two digit so you are making a mistake you will say that we can make only a one two digit number out of these given choices and if repetition is not allowed this is not a two digit number although theoretically of course you can consider it as a permutation but we are talking about numbers and if a zero is on the left side it has no meaning still it is one digit number and in the question you were asked to find how many two digit numbers can be found out of these two choices so you see when there is a zero in the given choices you have to be very careful the situation is not that simple so okay so if you want to use a formula how will you do that let me tell you with this simple example because then it will be easy for you to understand that complicated problem okay so if let's suppose the problem is same you are given zero and five so before solving this question you will ask uh, you will divide the answer into two sections because now the first place is very sensitive we have already solved a sim similar questions like this so it will also help you to understand those problems as well you can go back and see those videos later and i hope you will understand that for that because you know zero cannot be on the left side so i have divided it into left and right sides because the per size of the permutation are the number we which we want to find how many two digit numbers so there should be two sections and because zero cannot come on the left side so i will write five and because it is only one number i can make only one permutation out of this one because if even if you use a formula one p1 it the answer is equal to 1 so 5 is only 1 now you have to see how many permutations you can make on the right side because you will put all the the rest of the choices on the right side unfortunately we have only one choice 
for this side so we will put is zero so once again they, there is one digit here and we can find only one p1 it's only one so you can make only one permutation so you see the problem will stop here one p1 equals one and for this zeros or rest of the given choices you can make only one permutations right one permutation so you can make only one two digit permutation or number in that case okay so let me make the problem little bit more complex so that we can gradually solve the given problem so now my question is that you are given three digits zero five one and my question is how many three digit numbers can you form from these given choices without any repetition now to solve this problem because you are familiar that zero can should not appear on the left side because this is not a number for example zero five one actually mathematically you can say it is a permutation but this is not a three digit number it is a two digit number so you know the problem so i told you to first divide into two sections so first put five here on the left side this is the left and put rest of the choices here so i will put rest of the choices here zero and one then next i will see how many permutations i can make from these choices because five is fixed now so i can make two more permutations from this zero and one and one and zero i don't need to use the formula because it's easy to do that so from this from uh, these numbers i can make two more permutations and don't worry if zero is appearing on the left side here because five is there because we have divided the three digit number into two sections the leftmost number is here and then now i am calculating the number of permutations possible from these the left uh, the rest of the numbers on the right side and i am calculating all the permutations so i know that if i put five on the left side i can make two more permutations for the right side so this number is actually 500 and 0 501 and another number is 510 next i can put one on the left side because it's okay if i can put one on the center but zero should not be on the left side that is why i am doing some manual work now i will put one on the left side because this should be the first digit on the left side and i will put rest of the number zero and five here and now i will see how many permutations i can make from these two numbers without uh, now i don't have to worry about if zero is on the left or right because i know the leftmost digit one is always there so once again i can make two permutations zero five and five zero okay so now problem is solved so i can calculate uh, or in fact i can write the numbers for you so this uh, five is there so the first number is five and then this zero one will be combined so first five zero one and the uh, second three digit number is five one zero similarly the one is here and then one will be combined with the first permutation on the right side so it should be 105 and then it will be combined with this so 150 so my answer to this problem is i can make four three digit numbers from the given choices 0 5 1 3 uh, the four three digit numbers just to see how did i solve this problem because first i put five and then i calculated i put a rest of the choices there and i calculated all the possible permutation from those choices and then i can i could combine them together similarly i put the next digit on the left box because i don't want to avoid uh, because i don't want zero to appear on this side and then i put rest of the choices on the next box and i calculated all the possible choices of course i could use my formula to calculate these 
choices but i did it manually because it was easier to do. okay so let's solve this question the total problem is because of this zero if a zero is given with the digits then you will have to follow this procedure so because i don't want zero to appear on the leftmost side of the number so for that i will use individual numbers on the left side and calculate the corresponding number of permutations for the right hand section for example i will choose 5 and then i will move like this okay so for the 5 and i will put rest of the choices in this box rest of the choices are 0 1 2 3 and 4 and now i will calculate all the possible permutations for these choices so the number uh, choices number of uh, digits is 1 2 3 4 and 5 so 5 p 5 and my calculator tells me that 5p5 equals 120. So you see I am calculating all the possible numbers, uh, 5 digit numbers from these choices. Because then I can join with these 5 and it will become different choices. Okay, then next I will use 4, then rest of the choices are 0, 1, 2, 3 and 5 and this formula will remain the same because now number or the value of digit doesn't matter because the only matter is just the total numbers and then size of the permutation which in our case is same so 5p5 is 120. Okay, so next number is 3 and put rest of the choices here. So 0, 1, 2, 4, 5 and this formula is of course still the same. I can make 120 more permutations from these choices. And then next number is 2 and rest of the choices are 0, 1, 3, 4 and 5 this is of course same I can make 120 permutations from these choices and last one is 1 and of course 0 2 3 4 and 5 and my NPR formula says is 5 P 5 equal 120 so now you see for every choice on the left side I can make 120 more permutations on this side and those 120 will combine with this number to make all of those other permutations. So now how many total permutations are six digit numbers of course are possible. So you can either take a sum of these uh, permutations because that will be the total number of six digit numbers or alternatively you can calculate like how many permutations you have on the left one two three four five so you can multiply 120 multiply by five so you can make total 600 permutations in this situation uh, or if you add them up it's the same thing you will get the same answer for each of these choices so if you don't understand this concept please go back and replay this video or try to solve this question or try to solve uh, take a simpler example because like i showed you before and just play around with this mathematics and you will understand it very well after some time because it takes time to understand so here we have a second part of this question which says that in how many of them mean 
we have calculated the total six digit numbers that can be found from these digits so how many from these 600 numbers of them will zero be at the tens place so i hope you are remember with the place values in our numbering system if not let me refresh your knowledge suppose we have a number 8 2 3 6 4 so can you read this number so it's uh, uh, 82364 right so how how do i know that this is for example 82000 so because i know in our numbering system each digit in a given number has a place value for example this is this digit at this place has a place value of 1 similarly we have tens then we have hundreds then we have thousands and this digit has a place value of 10,000 so when we want to read this number i know that this is not 8 because this 8 because of its position in the given number this uh, 8 has a place value of 10,000 so I will multiply this number with 10,000 to actually get the number similarly this is not just 2 it has a place value and this digit must be multiplied with its place value so I will multiply it with its place value similarly it's not 3 its place value is 100 and it must be multiplied with its place value it is not 10 uh, it's not 6 it should be written as 10 multiplied by 6 and 4 4 is 4 because when we multiply it with 1 it will remain the same so now if i write it it is 80000 similarly this is 2000 this is 300 this one is just 60 and this is 4 and if I add all of them I know that this digit is 82,364. So now you know that a given number in a given number different digits have a different place value and its value is determined by the multiplier or its, its position in a given number. So in this part of the question it says that in how many of them mean how many numbers which we have just calculated the 600 six digits numbers can be found from the given list. And now out of these 600 numbers we want to know that in how many numbers will the zero be at tens place. So now you know this is the tens place. For example, uh, so we will have six digit numbers. So, but the tens place is always the same. So you can see that in a, in out of these 600 numbers, in how many numbers there will be zero at the second place from the right side because that is the tens place. So let's try to calculate that okay so as we were given these numbers and then we calculated total number of six digit numbers that could be found from this list and here is the formula so before i solve this question because the solution of this question is very easy it's just one step of calculation but i want you to understand what is happening actually so we were given a list of numbers and we calculated the total number of permutations which could be found from this list and of course size of the permutation was also 6. So what is a permutation? You know that permutation is all about 
position of the objects and we make diff different patterns out of them for example if i have one two three then i can make different patterns for example three two one one three two you know so permutation is all about changing the positions and get different patterns and we calculate how many different patterns i can make and here, here's the formula of course i can't repeat any object so if someone says that out of some given numbers for example i say one two and three and i want you that keep two fixed at this position and now tell me how many permutations i can make but the condition is two is fixed so don't move two and you are free to use patterns by moving the other two digits but don't move two it is fixed so when i fix something always remember that consider it like it is not present there at all so for example in this problem one two three and i ask you that don't move two it should be fixed in the middle and now tell me how many permutations i can make so i will just ignore two like it is not there because permutations uh, permutations are all about moving the positions of the object to get new patterns right and when i say fix a number at one position then it means it's not present at all because it's useless for me if i can't move it anywhere to get a new pattern so the way i will solve this problem like i will just ignore two and i will think like i have only two digits one and three now i will use my formula uh, n p r and if uh, because i have only two numbers so i will cons and i can make uh, different permutations of size two so it's two p two and it tells me that i can make only two permutations and those two permutations are actually easy so i can even do it manually one three and three one so there is no other pattern or arrangement or a permutation possible a different permutation so i can make only two so i will tell you that for this problem you can make only two permutations that's it of course then i will insert two and if i ask you what are those numbers now you will take these permutations here and write them like one three and just make some space in the middle and you can insert two here okay one two three and what is the other number okay i tell you the other number that is because here it's three one so i will now write three one and of course i will insert two once again because two is fixed in the middle right so i can put it anywhere so only these two permutations or numbers are possible out of these three given digits and if two is fixed so you see so whenever uh, you face a problem related to permutations and you are asked to fix a number just ignore it take all the other digits or objects or whatever are given to you and calculate the permutations and those are actually the permutation which are possible even if you can insert that number anywhere even it doesn't matter whatever is the position of that fixed digit it will remain the same so now i hope you have uh, you have gotten the point right so now let's move to the solution okay so when they say that in how many of these 600 numbers formed from these digits in how many of those numbers zero will be at the tens place it means they want you to fix zero at the tens place and you are not allowed to move it because you want to find only those numbers where zero is at the tens place it means there should be one number on the right and rest of the numbers will be on the left side of this zero like this so zero is once again fixed at the tens place you know this is the ones place this is tens this is one hundreds and so on so once zero is fixed i told you if any one digit is fixed just consider it is not there so just forget about zero so you think like uh, you are given the numbers one two three four five 
and I ask you how many permutations of size uh, 5 you can make from these digits. Just forget about 0. So you are given total 5 digits and size of the permutation is 5. Now tell me how many permutations you can make. It's the same because 0 is fixed and of course it is fixed you can insert it any time out of the permutation you make from these 5 digits. So of course 5 digits and size of the permutation is 5 of course. So 5p5 equals let me use my calculator 5p5 and it says 120. So when you will get these 120 uh, permutations of course 0 is fixed in those numbers you can insert this 0 anytime between the given in the between the digits of the given permutations of 120.